it's your boy Light back with another YouTube video. And in today's video, uh, we're going to be doing X Men franchise ranked uh, tier list here, I guess. Oh, or not tier list, sorry. Uh, countdown here on the channel, best to worst, or sorry, worst to best video here on the channel. So, yeah, if you're unfamiliar, pretty much in these videos, well, I, I think it's the first time in a little while I've done these. But pretty much I just rank the X-Men movies from the ones I uh, dislike the most to I like the most. Anyways, uh, I don't know if I'll give a rating out of 10. Uh, maybe I'll just touch on exactly why I put it there at the certain slot and stuff like that. So yeah, in today's video we're doing the X-Men franchise. Uh, I just finished rewatching all of it, reviewed all of it. Uh, but anyways, uh, let's get into this. Also, a disclaimer. This does not include Deadpool. I didn't include it just because I felt like it didn't really connect kind of with the X-Men franchise in a way. So I just decided not to include the Deadpool 1 and 2. Uh, but all Wolverine movies are on here. So, yeah. But anyways, uh, let's get into it. Uh, so, yeah. So, coming up, coming up at number 10 is going to be X-Men The Last Stand. Now, I actually dislike this movie a lot. I don't really like it. There's barely anything I really like about this movie other than, say, action. And some of the acting was pretty decent. But, like, this movie was just terrible. From terrible adaptation to terrible story. It's just, it was it was bad. I didn't really like it. And it's coming in at number 10. Alright, so coming up at number 9 is going to be the X-Men Dark Phoenix. Now... I mean, I wasn't a huge fan of this movie. Didn't really like it. Um, I mean, I would maybe give it a 6 out of 10 or something like that. I can't remember what I gave it in the original video, but I didn't really like a lot of the stuff. Again, it has similar problems to The Last Stand, but a bit of the difference is it was a better adaptation uh, than the other one. That's something I like better than the other one, and... Acting wise, it was just much better, in my personal opinion. Sorry about that, but um, yeah, that's the reason why I put it at number nine here on the list. So coming out number eight is going to be X Men Origins Wolverine. Now, originally, I didn't really. I mean, I I thought it was an enjoyable movie, but over over the years, I've watched it more and more and more, and I came back to say it's. I see why it gets a lot of hate. I, I really do. But in my personal opinion, I'm kind of in the middle, but leaning towards the the more disliked side of the whole thing. So that's why it's coming out at number uh, eight right now. So, yeah, uh, that's the reasoning why. I mean, I, I don't hate the movie. And I don't like the movie a lot, but I really thought it didn't need to be an 8th, I mean, or I mean 10th, because a lot of people are probably like, oh, this should be 10th, oh, it's terrible. But, I mean, what are you going to do? Honestly, uh, it's my personal opinion. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, next up at number 6 is going to be X-Men Apocalypse. Now... In my personal opinion, I'm on the middle of the, I'm in the middle. Like, I'm in strictly the middle on this one. I mean, I don't like the movie and I don't dislike the movie. I mean, it has some cool stuff in it and it definitely has some bad stuff. But, um, uh, I thought it was enjoyable a little bit. My apologies for yawning a lot. I don't know what the hell's happening with me. But anyways, I, I keep yawning on, on camera. Sorry about that. But yeah. Uh, here we have X-Men Apocalypse. At number 6, I believe it is. So, yeah. Let's move on to number 5. So yeah, number 5 is going to be X-Men. I mean, I like this movie. I just don't think it should be higher on this list. A lot of people might disagree with me. But then again, it's my personal opinion. I find that the X-Men movie is definitely likable, definitely good. I really enjoy it in nostalgic reasons. But again, I don't know. It just it doesn't really 
hit the spot on it compared to the other movies that I have above this. But definitely still a good movie. We're kind of heading into the more better of the X-Men franchise. So yeah, that's important to note as well. Let's move on to number four, which is going to be The Wolverine. Uh, so yeah, uh, The Wolverine. Definitely an interesting movie, very enjoyable, very nostalgic personally to me. I have a lot of nostalgia towards this movie. Uh, yeah, I realize I've been saying these movies wrong. This is number five. My apologies. But, um, yeah, The Wolverine. I definitely thought it was an interesting movie, enjoyable, very action-filled, really pretty good. I like the adventure side aspect of it. I like the way they were going with this movie and more of an adventure kind of style movie. But again, uh, I feel like the movies higher on this up, higher up on this list, are definitely better movies. But then again, Wolverine is still a favorite of mine. Or sorry, The Wolverine. If you just find it, think that I'm saying X Men Origins Wolverine. So yeah. Um. Uh, Anyways, coming up number four is going to be X2 X-Men United. Now this movie does do a lot of things good. I really enjoy it. Uh, really just enjoyable movie. Really good cinematically as well. That's something I thought was really well as the X2 X-Men United thing goes. It was really interesting cinematically and enjoyably. I That's definitely something I really I really like about this movie. I thought it was really enjoyable, really good. Yeah, coming out number four. But the reason you might be wondering, ah, oh, if you think it's so good, why is it, cinematically, why is it that number four? Just because of the top three just I don't know hits the spot even way better. That I think these movies are really good. Uh, but then again, X Two and X Men United, I would probably rate it at a nine out of ten. So it's definitely a good in movie in my books, but. Uh, let's go up at number three, which is going to be X-Men First Class. Now, in my personal opinion, I really like X-Men First Class. I think it's a really good movie. I think it does a lot of things good, but again, it has certain flaws. Especially with the treatment of some of the characters. It wasn't too good in that aspect, but I mean, it was pretty good. Really enjoyable. Probably a 9.5 in my personal books. I think it's really good. It's a really good movie. Uh, let's move on to number two. My apologies for that cut. But anyways, uh, so here we have X-Men Days of Future Past as the number two the number two spot on this list. I th definitely think it's a good movie. Very done, very well done. Cinematically and just enjoyably. I think it's really good. I think it's a really good movie. Really enjoyable. I think it's really fantastic. I think it's probably a 10 out of 10. It doesn't really have too much flaws. I mean, it has one that I can think of. But um, I think it's a really good movie. Really enjoyable. Let's move on to number one. And what else did you think I was going to put out one? It's going to be Logan. I really enjoy this movie. Really uh, just fantastic movie. Cinematically, enjoyably. Really good. Just a really good enjoyment. And again, it's more of the adventure side of these movies. Um... Uh, that's something I like about the, especially these Wolverine movies is they take a deeper dive into the more adventure side and of course Logan is more realistic more action filled really good because of course if it's R rating but anyways that's pretty much it uh, comment down below if you really want to what's your tier list I mean what are you marking at the worst the best uh, I'm curious to see what you guys know and of course disclaimer uh, this this whole tier list was my personal opinion but anyways, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.